Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. You sound angry. <laughs> hey, check this out, right? Uh, it was a comment on uh, one of my recent videos. And, and basically this comment, female comment, or presumably female, you never really know. But presumably female commentator saying you sound so angry. Right. And it wasn't one of those videos which I call a mini rant because y'all know y'all y'all told me even videos that I'm supposedly ranting. I say, yeah, this a rant and everything. Y'all be like, Ron, that really wasn't a rant, bro. <laughs> she said she said oh, angry. I was like, hmm. And see, usually when I get comments like that, I either delete or block the person. Sometimes I just delete the comment. If they become a problem, I just block them. Because uh, one thing I don't play with is shaming language. Because that's all that was. And see, the shaming language, you know, it's, it's really how a woman will try to silence a man who's saying some stuff. Who's saying some stuff that she knows to be true. So instead of uh, responding to anything with any intelligence it's like oh you sound it's like they got to add something to it they can't address the issue but they address the person you know like i had one time um uh, you know they'll try to say you sound a certain way or they'll say well you know they'll say if they they'll say oh you're ugly or uh, you're short or something like that i remember i had somebody uh try to some group of people try to psychoanalyze me and stuff right and you know one of them was supposedly a psychologist and was like you appear to have short man syndrome and i was like i didn't know 511 was considered short um it's like <laughs> it was crazy or sometimes oh this is something i get this is something i get right this was one of my favorites because that same that same group, they try to say, oh, since there's a dollar store near where I live, um, I, you know, I must live in a poor neighborhood. And I was like, hmm, the median income of where I live is like ninety seven thousand, <laughs> you know, <laughs> ninety seven hundred or well, six figures. Now, it's up there. Yeah. Almost one hundred thousand. Right. But. You know, I was just like, hmm. See, the thing is with, uh, you, we, we're going to get that. Because what the problem is, and it's kind of related to what my last video was uh, talking about when reality sets in. You have a bunch of women, right? You have a bunch of women who, you know, they don't want to hear what a man has to say unless it's telling them what they want to hear so when a man says something or brings up a point brings up observation they never address the merits of the argument they never come back with um a counter or good card argument say well this that and the third they have tried to attack the messenger so they'll say stuff like, oh, you sound a certain way or you must be better or you have some uh, psychological issues. Right. Like I, I remember years ago and I wrote this. I mentioned this um, somewhere I wrote, way back in around 2000. The first article that I wrote that went viral was an article called Good uh, Successful Black Men and the Shortage of Good Black Women. Right. First article went viral before you know before you know social media even got big so you know that that was some shit and i had a bunch of women they would they would hit me up and they they would try to psychoanalyze me and everything and i would just be like um can you address the argument that i made though you know it's like they attacked the messenger like that would change the message see that that's the problem with everything if you stayed in something that people are seeing not just one person uh, trying to silence one person speaking the message doesn't do anything if you see a bunch of uh like if you have statistics out there showing that a significant percentage of men 
in prison or people in prison are out of single parent homes you can't i mean telling somebody or trying to silence the person who's pointing that out because these are statistics that are these are statistics that can be looked up that's not changing anything and see that's what the thing is it's not so much addressing the issue and this is why even i'm even doing this video you know a person is trying to address the person is uh just stating what's out there what people seeing or what people you know what people are experiencing trying to sound as one person doesn't change anything because you're walking around you got people walking around many women even some men walking around with their fingers in their ears talking about la 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 like i don't want to hear it. that that's not going to change the reality you know if you know okay if you have a neighborhood that's real bad and people constantly get robbed especially strangers you know walking around and somebody tell you that trying to tell like trying to shame the person try to get them to stop telling you that ain't gonna keep you ain't gonna keep somebody's gun from being pointed to your head you know and see that's the that's the issue i have with um you know much of what we have even on um youtube like you know we had that infamous time um that infamous list from a while ago where all these black male YouTubers, you know, were targeted for a flagging campaign. And, you know, I did a video on that. I was like, you you got to actually have something to flag them on. That's why it's all of a sudden got real quiet with that. Because, uh, you know, a few of us got on here and said, hold up, this the real deal. <laughs> you know, a few of us got on here saying, you know, that if you notice, that kind of got shut down, shut down kind of quickly. But the real issue there was just men pointing out stuff. And then the women, not, instead of the women saying, hold up, let, why don't we do this? See, what the women should have been doing is like, all right, let's prove them wrong. Like a woman's complaining about, uh, and you know, this is mostly in the black community, but you know, you got some issues there in the white community, as uh, maybe MGTOW will tell you. But say a man gets on a video or he points out something, or he says, hey, this is this behavior, and he uses, in fact, he don't just say it, but he uses actual video. I mean, if you, if you go to something like World Star, <laughs> that's right there on celluloid. That's right there. That's evidence. A person ain't making up anything. But, you know, people would get mad at that person for pointing it out. And, you know, try to get them from pointing it out. But it's like it don't take away from the behavior. I mean, the only way to stop, you know, if you got some women uh, who are mad at what some men are saying on any social media platform, you shut them up by the truth. Prove what they say is wrong. You know, one thing I, I, I used to do, because yeah, Rom actually, I mean, I know y'all look at me like that, uh, you know, Uncle Rom, mostly calm and stuff. But when I was younger, you know, I talked way more trash than I did. <laughs> I could have had uh, social media throughout the 90s like this. Yeah, shit. I'd be a millionaire because I'd be going in on people. <laughs> but, uh I remember I was at this forum, and before the forum even started, I, I, I stood up, and I told people, I said, look, if anybody can prove me wrong, not, not, not going against me, but prove anything I say is wrong, I'll give you a free book. And one woman did try, bless her soul. <laughs> she did try. I was like, honey, you didn't prove me wrong, okay? <laughs> but, you know, it's... It's um I don't know, it's just interesting. It um just how, you know, we have this back and forth, but you know, you get one side stating issues, but the other side is like not addressing the issue. But trying to trying to kill the messenger. But then the funny thing is happening especially on social media. Because sometimes, every now and then, they might be able to get to, like, a messenger. But, four more takes that place. It's like a real-life hydra. You know? You cut off one head, three more grow in its place. And really, 
you know, I would say this. I would say this. If someone has a problem with anything I say, that's all I'm saying. Just just come with any challenging argument. All right. And I actually had a uh, woman who did that uh, uh, post uh, one time. And she actually asked me permission to say, look, I'd like to respond to it. It's like, okay. And she did. And you know what? I actually liked the video and everything. I actually liked the video. You know, and of course, I didn't agree with everything she said, but the response was intelligent. And she didn't, she didn't come at me personally. She didn't say, Ram is this, Ram is that. She addressed all the issues. And I respect that. You know, of course, we had a difference of opinion on some of the issues, but... I was like, no, she she addressed it. She she went straight for the issues. She didn't make it personal at all. I'm kind of cool. Probably somebody I could message right now and be cool with. Man, I respect that. But, you know, people come on here and they try to say, uh, well, you're this, you're that. Like, I got uh, one... Um, I'll, call, I'll call her name. She's a famous troll. Miss Classy. Yeah, I'm calling your name, baby. If you can hear this video, you can't post though. <laughs> but she tries to say, "Oh, well, you you are you been successful and all that." Apparently, this shit still pay my bills, and plus, I got money to do what I need to do. Successful enough, but that's a shaming thing. Instead of just saying, "Hey, you know what? I don't agree with this. Uh, I don't agree with this uh, idea you have, and this is why." Boom, boom, boom. You know, but uh, anyway, I just want to want to get that out. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, y'all have a good day now. Y'all go ahead and do y'all thing. Peace.